Today, kids, we're going to read a book. I can read with my eyes shut. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color, too. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. I can read with my left eye. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and hallelujah too. I can read with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. But it's bad for my hat and makes my eyebrows get red hot. So, reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader, because there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees and bees and knees. And knees on trees and bees on threes. You can read about anchors and all about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses and what you should do about owls on noses. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, all oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff. You'll learn about fish bones and wish bones. You'll learn about trombones too. You'll learn about Jake the pillow snake and all about Foo Foo the snoo. You can learn about ice, you can learn about mice. Mice on ice and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale. You can learn about sad and glad and mad. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars, or how to make donuts, or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hot zut. If you keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the place where you're going is far, far behind. So that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide, keep them wide open, at least on one side.